What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna be painting some jig heads. You can see over my shoulder here. Got the work light on so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna show y'all how to paint jig heads. And uh, if y'all don't have any jig heads, you can get on Facebook and eBay. And uh, you can usually find people that sells them by the bulk. You can get them in like 12 or 24 packs and you can paint them yourself. You can come up with uh, creative colors. Today we're gonna to be doing a, a fire crawl color. I got the skirts right here. I'm gonna be making a chatterbait. It goes the heads right here. Y'all stay with me and I'll tell you what kind of tools you need. All right guys, you need some uh, hemostats. That's to hold your jig head. You need a heat gun. Need some kind of paint. This is a Protec powder paint. This is the best there is, my opinion only. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. I got some orange and I got some black. We're gonna do a fire crawl. We're gonna paint it orange and then show you one of these skirts. You can see how this skirt's got a little, Let's see if I can get it lined out. You can see how that skirt's got a little black in it. We're going to infuse a little black in the top of the head. We're going to put the black on the top. And um, that's all you need. You need just a piece of paper to put your paint down on. That way when you're painting, you take a little paint brush and you take the jig head and dip it down in your paint and then just tap the paint on. That's how I paint them. You can airbrush them. But uh, I'm going to get this heat gun fired up we're gonna get it painted there might be a better way to do this if somebody's watching this that uh, makes their own baits let me know down in the comments to keep from getting this paint all over the hook i'm just gonna take a little piece of black tape and put it right where the collar meets the hook and wrap this around just like that covers the hook keeps from getting paint all over it and then next thing you need to do is get your hemostats and I hold it by the hook eye because I don't want to get paint all in the hook eye and that right there is how you do it that's how it looks this one was uh, going to be weedless but I'm not going to make it weedless because yeah, we will make it weedless. Let's make a weedless one. Let me grab a weed guard and put it in. Weed guard pin and put it in here, and I'll show you how that's done. All right, went and got a Teflon weed guard pin. Let's see, I've already been painting. Well, this one's got a little paint on it. Stick it right in there. That way, when you paint, you won't get no paint down in the hole. That's what he looks like. Now you need to shake his paint real good and it gets it fluffed up. Put her down on the paper that I got. I'm gonna give it a few seconds to settle down. I'm gonna crank the top off of it. Get the heat gun fired up. Show y'all how we do it. All right, now let's take the top off this. Hopefully we don't make a mess. Now y'all not gonna be able to hear it during this part, so I'm just gonna speed it up. I'm gonna tell you right now what I'm gonna do. Take this heat gun, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna heat the G head all over. Four to 10 seconds in each spot, and then I'm gonna start painting it. So I'll speed this part up like a little time lapse. That way it won't take us so long. Y'all stay with me.
now that we got our jig head heated evenly just dip our brush down in the paint start paint Now you may have to heat your lead a little bit more. One thing to note is if you put the paint on and it don't melt, your lead is not hot enough. So you need to keep just heating the lead until when you put the paint on it just melts the powder paint all right guys you've seen how i do it once i get it painted real good i'll come back on here and show you the finished product there we go that's what she looks like all painted orange and then we'll take this black tape off and we're going to infuse the black into the top of it got to put her weed guard pin back in and uh let me find my hemostats here. Take off this black tape off. Yep, got the black off and the hook is clean as a whistle. No paint on it. Now, let's give this just a few seconds to dry and put the black on top and see what it looks like. There we go. We've got the weed guard pin back in. And we're going to infuse the black into it. Put the camera down where y'all can see. I got this piece of paper down here for uh, when I'm knocking the paint off with the brush. What paint I miss and it goes down on this paper, I just rake it back into the jar. That way uh, we save our paint and we're not wasting. Let's get our heat gun back out. We're just gonna heat just the top of it about five seconds in the front, five seconds in the back, and uh, we're gonna put the black on. We don't want a whole lot of black. That's all the black we're gonna put on it. Kinda of makes it like a speckled. I'm gonna heat it just a little bit. I'm gonna let it dry and then we gotta put it in the oven for 30 minutes to bake. There we go. Hang it in the oven, close it up. on 30 minutes and I'll see y'all when she comes out well it's been 30 minutes it just went off a few minutes ago give it time to cool down a little bit and here's the tale of all tales oh yeah it looks good it looks really good now we gotta put the eyes on and the weed guard in put the skirt on we're ready to go I use this uh, Loctite super glue gel to put the eyes on. Little dot, a little drop goes a long way. So you just put a little drop on. See, so you see it coming off there. Let's put it on. And then we're gonna get the eye and put it on right here. 
Oh well, what I do with them. Here's the eyes. Get you one of these little pick things to put it on with. That way it's not. We got the eye in place. Gonna give it a few minutes to dry. And we're gonna do the other side. Put the other eye on here. See it or not, I got both eyes on. Now we're gonna give it a little bit time to dry and we'll put the skirt on. Now you gotta get you a split ring so you can attach the blade to the head. And uh, I use owner hyperwire. I think they're the best and the strongest on the market. Let's see, I got it right here. This is a number two. And uh, I got some split ring pliers. We're gonna put the blade and stuff on. Right now we're gonna put the skirt on. Get the skirt here. And uh, get it laid out how you want it. Put it drop it. And I told y'all earlier, we're gonna put the black on the top. And the orange will be on the bottom. See, you just put her hook through. Push it up. up. Sometimes you can take your little thing here, get all your skirt separated. And there we go. Look at how pretty that thing is. That's a fish catcher. You can see how I did the top with the black. I'll show y'all a little bit of close up here in just a second. I'll turn this light off back here. It's blowing everything out. Now, see if you can see it. And now we're going to uh, put the split ring on. That's a that's a job to put the split ring on. It's aggravating, but we have to do it. So I just open the split ring up enough. There we go. We got it started now. Just twist it right on. There she goes. Now we're gonna get the number two snap put on this and then attach this to the over, uh, split ring that we got chatterbait. Let me go get a, a snap. If y'all build baits and stuff yourself, these little jars right here is awesome to keep all your uh, stuff in. I got snap number two duo snaps in this one. You can get them at uh, any craft store. Now we're going to put this snap through this blade. And uh, we'll have us a chatterbait. Well, let's go ahead and give you a heads up. Sometimes this is a pain in the you-know-where to get to go through. Take you a pair of needle nose pliers and just pull her through. There we go. Now we attach the blade to a split ring here. Now we got her on right. There we 
There you go. You got yourself a chatterbait. I'm going to wire tie the skirt. That way, if the rubber band ever comes off, your skirt will stay on place. Just spread your skirt up where you want it. It's your jig tying vise. You don't have to have this, but it makes it a whole lot easier. Put it in, clamp it down. Another little trick I'm going to show you, get you some of these women's hair clips. Hold your skirt and material. Put you one on the front, one on the back, one on the front to hold it in place. Take your little piece of wire, bend it into a loop, put it around, twist, just twist, twist. Twist, twist. I'm gonna got some hemostats. I'll put them around it and twist until it's tightened down. You can tell when it's tight. When it's tight, it starts uh, flaring out. Just a little pair of clippers. Cut it down. Well, not a professional. <laughs> Take you some needle nose, bend it over, and voila. Now you got a chatterbait. That uh, the skirt won't ever come off, and uh, we're gonna put the wig guard in. I'll make it weedless. Get you a little bit of uh, super glue gel. A little dot goes a long way, I'm telling you. Because if you put too much on, it runs out. And then makes a big old mess. A little dot on the end. Let me know how y'all want to like it better. Do you going to like it just like a regular chatterbait? Or... You like it better weedless let me know down in the comments which one y'all like better and uh that's how you build a chatterbait guys appreciate y'all watching the video please like tell your friends to follow my channel if they want to learn how to make baits and save themselves some money may have three dollars in this maybe a little less not sure this is a uh, must add jig flipping hook use the best components you don't skimp buy cheap components and still don't have a whole lot of money in it so appreciate y'all watching like share subscribe hit the thumbs up so more people see this video and uh really appreciate y'all for getting me to a thousand subscribers I'm gonna get off here and go to work appreciate y'all